Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Library Management System for the tutorial for beginner. So in this tutorial, we are going to show about here categories from the database table and if the user click on that category, then the user will see the book based on the category. So for it, let's go back to our code and here you can see popular latest all books and before that we have this call lg6 item currently in the market so let me just remove this div from here and instead of call lg6 let's say over here call lg10 then save it then refresh and there you can see we have the book option over here and at the beginning the design is a little bit different so uh, let's just do one thing that is uh, here we're going to mention a style and in this style we are going to say margin top it will be 100x let me save it and let me just refresh here again and there you can see at the beginning right now there is some space so we want to uh, see the issue like before okay so also we have a lot of categories the option will show on the left side so let's go back and here we are going to show the categories so here you can see the li tag popular latest instead of those we're going to show the categories so for it auto will do is that we will go to our home controller and from here we're going to send the data for the category so here let's just declare a variable let's say dollar category equal to it will be category model name and which is category category then we'll give to double drone then we'll select here all and after it we're going to just give a comma over here and we'll send this dollar category to our this view home dot explore and we need to do the same thing for uh showing the all book over here as well so let me just copy this then paste it over here and let me just copy this and we'll paste it over here since uh, those view are the same home.explore home.explore that's why we need to send the category data to both of those view so uh, let's just save it and right now we'll go dot explore dot let dot php and here we'll keep the all book option and for this li tag we're going to mention it for each tool since we have multiple categories so we say what here dollar for each we'll say here dollar category as dollar category and the for each loop will end over here we'll say over here at the top end for each so inside this we're going to show the category name so let me just keep only one of them and let me also just remove this data filter from here and right now if we just go to the category table uh, here you can see category table so we write the title over here like this cat underscore title so we are going to say over here to second bracket then we'll say this dollar category then arrow sign we'll say cat underscore title so if we save it then if we now refresh okay category not false okay let me just go back to the uh, home controller let me go at the top and we do not have the category model over here so let me just copy this paste it over here and here we are going to send category we are going to mention the category model name here so let's refresh again and there you can see it is showing us the fiction, adventure, science, story, and biology option over here. Okay, those options are on the right side. So let's just make it on the left side. So let's go back. And here instead of column D10, let's show it here column D6. Then let me refresh. And there you can see it is on the left side right now. So right now what we are going to do is that when the user click on the option, the category option, it will show us the book for that specific category so let's go back and here you can see the li tag so what we can do is that we will uh, give a anchor tab over here 
So let me just give an anchor tag here. Then in this anchor tag, we are going to give this category name over here or category uh, title. And here in this href, what we will do is that we will give to second bracket. Then we are going to show out here URL to first bracket to single position. Let's say that URL name will be category underscore search or let's just show out here cat underscore search. And for each category title, we have a category ID. So we'll cast that ID over here. So for it, what we'll do is that we'll use this dollar category to get the ID. So we'll show out here category this arrow sign ID. So right now let's can write the route for this. So let's go to our routes then web.php and from here I'm going to copy uh, let's say this route control C and after that paste it over here and our route name was cat underscore search. So we are going to say over here cat underscore search then we'll cast the ID over here and we'll use the home controller the function name will be cat underscore search so let's go to our home controller let me go down and here we're going to say public function function it will be cat underscore search we test the id over here so here what we'll do first is that we will store this dollar id in a variable so let's just say one here or we do not need to store it in a variable we can just try to use this dollar id as well so right now let's just declare a variable and the variable needs to be dollar data because uh, over here in the explore.plate.php in order to show the search data we are using for each dollar data so that's why we need to use the same variable over here and after that we are going to mention the book model name which is book we'll give down clone then we are going to say over here fire to single quotation and we want to search the book by category and in the book table if we just go to the book table uh, here you can see that we are getting the category id from here category underscore id we are using this as a foreign key so we are going to mention this category underscore id over here then we'll give a comma to single quotation like then comma to single quotation we'll give a percentage over here then we'll give over here dollar or no we'll just show over here category id comma this dollar id we want to show the specific data for the specific category and after it we'll just get the data and after getting the data we won't need to send the user to the same view so here you can see return view home dot export compact data category so i'll just copy it over here then paste it over here and here in the home dot explore we also have the category data that we are uh, showing over here so we also need to get the category data for this function as well so that is simple we just copy this and we'll paste it over here like this so save it let's go back refresh and right now let's say we want to see the book that has the fiction as category so right now if i click on fiction and uh, it is showing us the data but the css is not working so right now uh, what we'll do is that let's get the top and here in beside this head section before the uh, home.css we'll just show our here base uh, hf equal to slash public public so make sure to write this before this home.css not after before so save it then let me just refresh and there you can see everything is working properly and this book uh, category is fiction so let's click on adventure and there you can see we have two book whose category is adventure if i now just click on this give book details there you can see category is adventure let's go to explore again and let's uh, search for story 
and there you can see this book category story if i just click over here view book details there you can see categories story so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial what we will do is that in the admin dashboard we will uh, show the number of books number of return books number of uh, book applied for borrowing we'll show that in the admin dashboard so this is all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section and i hope to see you in the future tutorials